The lipsticks launched in March of 2012, and with that launched the multi-sticks. So with the multi-sticks, again, we introduced a group of six, and we ranged our colors from something more fair for a fair skin tone because it's going on the cheeks and we have to take that into consideration against just going on the lips. Um, and then we dove into a few other ranges of colors. So we have a lighter pink. That's actually really good for fair skin tones or for somebody that's actually just looking to, you know, have a bit of a lighter look that maybe isn't so warmly blushed. And then we've worked ourselves into more of a watermelon color. This one's all of me. And then we also have an orange type shade. This is I Put a Spell on You. This one's really popular for fall. It's got more of a sienna burnt look. Cheek to cheek. The multi sticks are good. You can use them on the cheek. Uh, some of the colors you can blend a little bit into the eye. Um, and a lot of people will just go if you want something just to chuck in your purse for the day and to use on the lips and the cheeks, uh, it's, a, it's a really good go-to. Some people think they're not quite as moisturizing. Some of my friends will say, oh, actually, these ones are not moisturizing, and then other people will actually think that they, they contain quite a bit of moisture. I like to use them on the cheek, but they really are good for both. In the morning, I'll actually use all of me on the cheek, and then when I get out of the shower, I'll also put it on my lips just kind of because it's right there and it's easy. On the eye, um, if you wanted to go with the lighter pink, Tenderly, or I put a spell on you, you could blend it in so that you kind of get a little bit of warmth. The other two may be a little bit too pink, but you know, whatever floats your boat. Uh, and then the last two of the six are a bit of a different category, but they're still multi because they can go everywhere, and those are our illuminators. Um, one that's been really popular with a lot of people is polka dots and moonbeams, which is referencing Mr. Frank Sinatra and um, it's a really light highlighter. There's not a lot of sparkle to it, and sometimes when people are putting it on, they'll say, oh, I can't see it as much, but it actually just adds a really nice lightness, and it will add dimension to the face. So if I start in the morning, I'll put maybe, say, all of me, and I'll blend it in, and then I'll take the highlighter, and I'll go over top, right on the rim of the cheekbone, and then you go up a corner I have eyebrow here, inner corner of eye, and if you dot up the middle with your pinky, it just helps pop open the eye. Um, so this has been really nice. Even if you just take your finger and ask me how your lipstick on, you take it, and then you just go right in the center of the lip, it starts to highlight the lip a little bit. Going from the light end of the spectrum to the darker end of the spectrum, we've got Sway, and uh, this one is a straight up bronzer. So this one actually I'd say is probably the best to use in the eyes. Because it is a cream, um, you would probably, you know, I'd recommend using a primer, but it's great even if you are to, again, to take one of the darker shades and then just take the bronzer and go over top, you can actually start to get a warmer bronzed look, you know, where you're blending the brush and the bronzer. You know, my favorite thing to do would be to take a blush and mark it down and then you take the bronzer and you go right over top to kind of add a little bit of a warmth and a glow to it. And then you take polka dots and moonbeams highlighter and blend into it. So then you kind of have the color, you've got the warmth from the bronzer and you've got the highlighter. So that kind of work like almost like a rainbow up the cheek. Uh, it's convenient to be able to just have something that will do a few things for you, especially if you have a really small night bag or you don't want to load up your purse with 20 different things. Um, from a color standpoint, uh, if you can use it on your cheeks and you can use it on your lips, it just makes your day a little bit lighter and less complicated.